Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let's review a Mansura fragrance after a very long time. And a Mansura fragrance, I used to buy them like madmen. I used to buy a lot of them. Not of course as much as Eric does, uh, Centrifugal Force. He has giant, the most biggest collection of Mansura ever. But I do have quite a few Mansuras and I like this house a lot. It's a niche house, very affordable niche house. They give you a good amount of juice, under 25 mil. Bottle looks all right good presentation with the pouch and all that but today i'm gonna show you a decant review and this is a gift sent to me by my sister sister rafa from bangladesh so she has a wonderful collection and recently she sent me three samples i have done review on one already okay let me show you the three these three okay one is this one last this one is a fantastic one fabulous one i gave it nine out of ten i love this perfume a lot gorilla perfumes and I have a third one that is also from Gorilla Perfumes as this yellow juice is called I think Karma. This is the last one it's gonna be. But today I'm gonna hit the Mansara. So thank you so much sister for your beautiful gift and that wonderful note that you sent me. So uh, Mansara Musky Garden, I did not try this for the first time this time around. I have tried this before in fragrance, you know, Perfume Bangladesh. I think it was the opening of uh, their shop like somewhere early this year, January or somewhere. And they, actually had a lot of bottles open and I actually got to open a lot of bottles tried some new fragrance one of them was that musky garden I'll leave the link below and you can see the bottle presentation there but usually the bottles Mansara bottles all look like this the bottle is like musky garden is black and it's this shape it has also that cap like this screw on cap and then uh, you can put it back nice atomizer and it will have a nice flower here beautiful beautiful bottle from Mansara okay this fragrance I think comes in uh, three different bottles, say 30, 60 and 120 as far as I remember, but I could be wrong. Perfume prices on these are uh, under $100 in Bangladesh for 125, 120 mil. This perfume on Fragrantica, it says uh, it's meant for women and I'm here to tell you different. I love this fragrance. Again, once again, this is another love. Uh, first time I tried it, I said it was nice, but you know, with time you you start appreciating things that you know you didn't like that much before like florals uh, I, I I was in love with a lot of women's perfume before but some florals kind of like put me off but this fragrance it's it's a different story I'll tell you as I go another thing is I haven't seen that many reviews on this perfume like individual reviews perhaps reviewers talked about it like in three four fragrance come like uh, together in one video it has been reviewed before and in different language also but I think this is a perfume people should take a look because Mansara's many of the fragrances are repetitive like you know like they repeat their fragrances and they have similar DNA in many fragrances so it's kind of redundant to buy and it gets boring at times you know I really have seen this with happening with many Mansara's and that's why I stopped buying Mansara's for a while so I sold off my last two Mansara I'm sorry talking a lot uh, those are purple flowers I liked it initially tuberose bomb jasmine bomb but it was a bit much and then wild python these two i did not reach for so much i sold them off so this is another floral fruity fragrance let's see how this one does so the fragrance has notes like peach i think a lot of fruits it has uh, some uh, bl not black currant it has uh, blackberries it has a uh, uh, what's the other one is it rhubarb no it's not rhubarb it's a uh, um what berry uh blackberry i think hold on i have to see the note because raspberry yes raspberry it has raspberry it has blackberry it has peach it has some musk it has some florals like jasmine and it's a beautiful vanilla i think somewhere vanilla or ambergris sort of feel those are your main notes so let's see what we get let's spray this and talk about it I really um enjoy this fragrance a lot here's the sprayer from that you can okay let's go through spray so fragrance strength on this one i recently wrote it on fragrantica it's pretty damn good uh, lasting power is pretty good perhaps not as much as black to black or the prestigium line and uh, this fragrance has uh, still has great lasting power it's built for women but i think it can be worn by men as well so if you also enjoyed pink prestigium this has a lot of common elements with that one which i didn't write in fragrantica so performance is great summer summer and springtime would be perfect for this and i classify this more fruity uh, kind of like a rose as well at the background but uh, more fruity than floral and musk that's what this fragrance is trying to uh, give you 
Um, so the projection from this is pretty damn good as well. If you have on if this on you, it will project not as heavily like old kind of fragrances, but it will project still very good. People will smell you when they pass you by. So projection longevity on average, let's call this a nine out of 10. Let's not say perfect 10. Um, is it just for women? I just told you, I feel men can wear it. If you happen to like floral fragrances, if you like fruits, it almost gives you the vibe of uh, Aventus for her. I never smelled that, but I had a uh, similar fragrance, uh, Al Haramein Laventer Femme. That and this has some common elements, but this is much better built. So I say anybody can wear this, no problem. But if you, you have to be really confident to carry those floral notes. Okay, so the blast of fruits is the blackberry and the raspberry. It's just mouthwatering. It's very, very good, very fruity, very strong. And I actually like this over purple flowers by far. Purple flowers, it's a bit one-sided. Even the wild python was one-sided. This has a perfect balance between the fruitiness and the floral. Very fresh, very nice, very simple, not too complex, very comforting and very uh, sexy in a way. If women wear this, it, it will smell so good on them. It smells so beautiful on them. There's nothing I dislike about this perfume, uh, not a single note. That's the best thing about this fragrance. Perhaps it's not the best men's that I ever made, but the bottle design is great. The smell, it's just beautiful. Uh, if you really like pink prestigium this has wonderful fruity vibe a lot of common things with this but both are great but this is a bit uh, high on jasmine okay so if you like more florals you can give it a try it's also beautiful it's longer lasting than this but this fragrance is amazing too where can you wear this this fragrance you can wear it for day purpose everyday purpose casual do not wear this in the gym then it's gonna be a bit too much because inside the gym it's strong uh, it's clean. It has that Narciso Rodriguez mask, clean mask sort of feel. So the mask is very clean, not animalic. And I saw the picture. It's like a musky garden means it's a kind of like you are in the garden smelling flowers and there's some ripe, ripe fruits. You're smelling those. You're not close and you're just taking a bite, you know, like collect some berries and having once in a while from the basket, freshly collected wild berries. <laughs> That's the kind of feel that you get very nice conceptually very nice very nice bottle is it the most unique men's hair ever no i smell this dna a lot they do this kind of dry down sweet floral fruity dry down kind of like a uh very familiar territory for me because i have had my fair share of men's hair. but if you never tried any men's hairs, this is gonna really impress you if you're a girl let's say the 60 percent girl perfume 40 percent boys perfume but if you love Mansara once again, definitely get a sample. If you're in Bangladesh, you can get a sample like this from Sister Rafa. I'll leave her page link below. You can knock her there. You can get a sample. She is doing decanting as well. So I think you're going to really like it. But some people I can see may dislike it because uh, the fruity and floral aspect is not for everybody. Some people do not like florals. So definitely give it a try. Longevity and projection is good. Versatility is good. Uh, I'll say 9 out of 10. Overall, this fragrance, I'm giving it a 9 once again. It's that good. Uh, just like the last Gorilla perfume. But the very last one I'm going to review, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about this one, the Karma, because this is a very, very challenging fragrance and I'm going to test it a little bit further before I review it, okay? So overall, I'm giving Musky Garden for the presentation, smell, lasting power, overall value, 9 out of 10. Give it a try. This is a beautiful fragrance uh, from House of Mansara. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh.